shiz. You're doing a podcast. I'll put the link in the description. And I am now a priestess to the God and the Goddess. And that's okay. Say hi. Uh, This is for my podcast. He's making us the commercial that we're stopping. Well, no. um, This is for my shiz. I'm recording you on my shiz podcast. You don't ask me that. I know. I was going to you. Don't worry. (laughs) No. Uh, 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 Okay. I love you. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. All right. He's actually putting it on his podcast. He's so excited that I'm doing my podcast again. Just a snippet, like like ten seconds of it. That's all. I love you, baby. I love you too. Okay, kiss. Yeah. All right, they're going to continue but doing their podcast. It was actually really good. She was. Really I know her. I, I I can overhear <laughs> some of it. It was, it was really good. good. She's really good at a podcast. Mm-hmm. She's really good at it. Yeah, they just recorded the first segment of the podcast. She's, and no, but she's really good even by herself. She's got a story to tell. She's really good. But she uh, would be a really good reporter or anything. Right now, she's not... Um, Confident. Confident? Mm-hmm. No, I just, I'm saying not dressed. That's why I don't have her on the video. Oh, no, you're talking about me? Yeah, yeah, I'm not dressed, and please don't take a picture of me. No, I haven't taken a picture yet. Yes, I was behind you, but not. Why do I have to actually be anything? You don't have to be. I didn't put you on. Yeah, like the video yesterday. I think she did that on purpose. You know I don't No, I didn't. I didn't start the video. You did. I didn't start video. Yes, I you did. Did. How long have I been on Skype? Or accidentally video? started for someone. They can't accidentally do it. It, it, that, that's not accidental. I think you did it all because you wanted to be on video, and I, you knew I didn't want to be on video. I never get dressed, and I had to be dressed for that? And yes, I'm skinny, but I don't want to be on my face. Love you. No, I don't love you for that. I love you. I love you, too, but I don't love you. Your too. face is fine. Yeah, you know what? You don't even understand makeup, so yeah. See why I can't put her on on the video? Yeah. That's why she's not on right now. Sunday night. Ah. Just finished working on 18 to the 24 vlog. And it's uploading now. And it said it's going to take 24 hours to upload to YouTube. I just finished rendering it. And it, that only took like five hours. But um, I think this is going to be a good vlog. Um, it's going to be an hour and 40 minutes long. It, it is actually an hour and 46 minutes long. But I think this is a good one because I had a lot of things to say about history, Thanksgiving, Cain and Abel, and a bunch of other stuff. And by the time you see this vlog, of course, you have already seen the one from, according to your point of view, two weeks ago. And then I got to edit 25 or, let's see, 18 to 24, right? And then 25 through 1. And I know uh, a lot of my vlogs are done at at night because during the day I'm busy doing other things that doesn't allow me to do a lot of video recording. So this is all you see is just a bunch of lights. Right now, it's like extremely cloudy. When I was out earlier, it started to sprinkle a little bit, but it didn't really pull out rain. It's a little chilly, but it's not cold. 
Oh, hey, I went into the Tiger Market, and there was a guy there. He's the only person there right now. It's 11 o'clock at night, shortly after 11. He doesn't know how to do green dot. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. I guess the guys, I got to walk back out here tomorrow, right? So let me go ahead and go to Jim's, pick up my chicken club salad and a bowl of chili. That sounds delicious. It's grilled chicken, too. Mmm. I mean, and they do pretty good. It's, it's not bad. It's, I mean, it's a, the food is not great. It's probably a little bit better than Diddy. Not as good as IHOP. I don't know. I mean, which restaurant do you like better, Diddy's or IHOP? Okay. And then, what local restaurant like this do you prefer? Monday afternoon right now, and I'm going to go to pick something up real quick, and I got to catch the number three to go do it. I realized in the last vlog, what if I put the camera on me like this? You can't really hear me that well. You can only hear me when I'm talking directly into the microphone. So... Looks like I can't really do one of those personal shots. But there you go. Hey. <sighs> it seems like Nikia is doing really well with the phone sales. It's still not topping Android and iPhone. But it's it's that Windows phone in itself is doing four times better than it did last year. So that's a good news. And for me that's good news because I can now start talking about Windows Phone to a lot of my clients that I do have as a replacement for the phone they got, uh, which, you know, I've always told my clients that Windows Phone works better with Microsoft Exchange, and since most of my clients don't even have Google Apps in their arsenal, it's, it just seems more logical to go ahead and get a Windows Phone. But it also depends upon if they're app happy, app happy, um, or if they're more about the function of the phone. And the functionality of Windows Phone, in my opinion, is a lot better than any phone in the market. But, you know, you do have to admit, Android and iPhone has the most apps. You know, if you're very into, if you're very much into apps, and yeah, and I hate to say it, <laughs> and I, I really hate to say this, really, because as you guys know, I'm not really a, huh, showgirls sponsor. Hi. Very interesting. Okay, another sponsor there. Um, yeah, it's just iPhone and um, Android, they just don't... It doesn't really operate that well as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, if if, if I had all the money in the world, of course I'll have a Galaxy Note. Or not, no, because I don't want a, 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 a tablet. But I'll have a Nexus 7 or a Nexus 10. And I also have an iPad and a, a Microsoft Surface Windows RT and a Microsoft Surface Windows Pro. Most likely, I'll probably get a uh, Windows RT for you know just like just for a regular pad, and then uh, you know just get a bitchin' ass desktop to do all my video editing. You know that's that's what I really would do. On Linux, you're kind of stuck with limited software. And people use Linux, uh, people are really into Linux and they're all that. They're not really concerned about apps. It's like my Windows, you know, when I get a Windows phone, I'm not going to be that concerned about apps. I mean, I'll, I'll probably have like 10 or 20 of them, but it's not going to be my main concern. Because the phone built in already stock. The stock on the phone already has everything I need. So there's really no need for me to purchase a, you know, uh, any other phone, because if I get uh, some other kind of phone, I had to alter it, you know, like, 
iPhone and iPad, you have to alter it to make it work within your enterprise network, whereas Windows Phone, there's not really much I have to do. There's not really much. Um, I'm waiting for Microsoft to come out with Microsoft Dynamics CRM app so I can sell that to my client. And I, as I understand, they're going to come up with the app for iPhone as well as uh, Windows Phone. I'm not sure. I didn't hear anything about Android, but I'm pretty much sure that they're going to do one for Android as well. But um, Office for iPad, it still hasn't been, it's still not released yet. Probably, oh, that's right, because it's not, Office 2013 is not going to get released until next year. So even if you buy Microsoft Surface or anything like that, you're going to get the preview version, but you're going to be able to upgrade it once the final upgrade comes through, uh, once the Office 2013 is finally released uh, for, for sale and all that. And now one thing about Office a lot of people are complaining that Microsoft Office 2013 on the Windows RT tablet does not operate within the Metro environment. It basically opens up the desktop and then it opens up Office. And a lot of people are complaining about that because it's not in the Metro style. And one thing that I've seen, whenever you look at Microsoft videos, videos that are produced by Microsoft themselves, uh, when the former Windows team leader he did demonstrations on, on YouTube. And you see that when they open Office, it opens in Metro. It doesn't go to desktop. And so they have the final release or maybe a preliminary RT release on their computer. So imagine, I can imagine that sometime in the future when updates come out for Microsoft Surface, they're going to have updates for it. and. They're going to come up with Office of the 2013 full release because it's supposedly it's supposed to come with it automatically. It's supposed to come with it. So when you open uh, Microsoft Word and on a Windows RT tablet, it's going to open up in Metro, and it won't have the ability to go to desktop. And they may take away desktop altogether because you can't really install anything on desktop. And in the Windows RT tablet, you need the Windows 8 Pro version in order to use the desktop version. So this is what I'm seeing, folks, and this is what a lot of people are complaining about. Is that why did they release this with a preview version of Office? That's because Office 2013 is in preview mode. Okay, it's preview, but you get all the features within. And as far as I understand. Office 2013 is, is, is a really good product in itself already, even the preview version. So you're not getting some uh, really buggy software. It just opens up in desktop on the Windows RT tablet. <sighs> and people don't seem to understand that, really. Uh, they, they're thinking that they get the surface and they're going to get everything, you know. Well, here's the thing, too. Of every review on the internet, there's been more good reviews than there has been bad reviews. The only bad review um, that I've seen is they talk about some lag, and they talk about the startup is not as quick as the advertise. Now, what I imagine is that that's going to come with upgrades. Eventually, Microsoft's going to do some upgrades throughout the year, and it's going to get better and better. And that's it's, it's bound to happen like that. Don't think that iPhone had several issues when it first came out. Don't think that iPad had several issues before it came out. It had several issues, but they fixed it over time with upgrades. I'm at the domain right now, and there are no stinking sidewalks from the bus stop. So here I go, walking on grass again. I swear, who built this city? Because it definitely wasn't from rock and roll. All right. I guess you can kind of tell where I'm going. Probably. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I'm at the domain in Austin. I'm headed over to the Microsoft store. And the reason why is because I want to check out the Windows Phone 8X. No sidewalks.
So, you know, these people are looking at me like, why are you videotaping me? I'm not videotaping you. I'm just talking to my phone. <laughs> <sighs> Art Nova. Now this actually does look expensive. See like this um tree here, is it fake? Most likely yeah, it's fake. Hundred and seventy seven dollars. Very interesting. Look at this bad boy. Yep. Oh, look at some of this artwork. It's pretty cool. Oh, jazz. I will love one of these. You can't really see it that well. That is really cool. Actually, that's not a bad price for, for a painting. Very nice. Oh, I love dragons. A lot of cool art pieces in here. They are. That'd be kind of cool to have. Seriously. That'd be really cool. All right, I'm out. <laughs> if I break it, I got to pay for it, so... They got a surface ad in front of the Apple store. <laughs> Very funny. Now, wasn't that the cutest thing? Wasn't that the cutest thing? Really. <laughs> I love trains, and you know, I feel like a little kid. I want to get on the train, too. <laughs> oh, I swear. But, uh... <laughs> I uh, went into the Microsoft Store and I looked at the Windows Phone 8X. It is nice, but I do have to say that the weight of the Windows Phone 8X and the weight of the Nokia Lumia 920, it's slightly lighter on the, wind on the HTC side. It's just a little bit lighter. It wasn't that much of a difference. I don't, I don't see what people are complaining about. Now the thickness, the thickness of the Windows 28X is a slightly thinner, but it's not by much. I can still say that I can easily slip that phone into my back pocket without worrying about it. Very easily. The Windows 28X had a, 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 a velvet feel to the cover versus, even though it's the same polycarbonate, whatever. It's the same uh, stuff, same plastic. I, it felt more softer in my hand, but it was thinner. So the, it's slimmer than the Kia. Really and truly, 
just like with the iPhone 5, and I guess the reason why I didn't like it so much, because it was so thin and so lightweight, the HTC Windows Phone 8X is a perfect fit for my wife. My wife has very skinny hands. She will like that better than the Nokia. I don't think she will like the Nokia so much because it'll be too fat for her. Whereas my hands is perfectly, it's perfect. I got pretty big hands. Not the biggest in the world, but they're pretty big. So it's, the Nokia Lumina 920 is a perfect fit for me. Whereas the HTC Windows Phone 8X is a perfect fit for my wife. Uh, both screens, oh my god, I mean, I wish I could show you on the video, if this video could show off the quality of the video, or the output, the display output on both phones. What I did was, I went to the settings, and I maximized the brightness, turned off the auto brightness, and I swear that the both phones were pretty much the same. The clarity, the it was just beautiful. They're both full HD, uh, 720, I think. I'm not too sure about the, the specifics, but the I mean the quality was great. The brightness, the colors, the black shine. Uh, the ACC has AMOLED, whereas the Kia has their proprietary clear black. But really and truly. The HTC reminds me of the Samsung Focus, like an upgraded version, as far as the, uh, the display is concerned. And it had a lot better picture quality than the Samsung Focus. Of course, because, you know, several generations later. So the picture quality was perfect. On the Lumia, it was clear. It was very clear. Now, when I did the video, it's kind of hard to tell by itself that the Lumia has a very superior stabilization on its own, by itself. And unless you compare it to another phone of the same caliber, of the same, you know, um, what do you call it, uh, in the same category. And so, but I did some video recording on the Lumia, shook the phone, moved around a little bit, and it does have a lot better stabilization. It, it still bounced around a little bit, and I'm like, okay, so what's the difference, right? Well, look at my videos. It's constantly shaking, right? When I did that with the HTC One Phone 8X, it has digital stabilization. It is not as great as the Lumia, which has a mechanical stabilization as well as digital. You know, they have they have both. So the Windows Phone 8X, if I bought that phone and decided to use that for my um vlogs, um but the picture quality will be better. The sound quality will be better. But I'm still gonna get that you know, because I walk a lot with this phone. I'm still gonna get that constant shakiness that you get that I get on this phone. It'll probably be better stabilization, but it won't be perfect. The Nokia definitely handled the shaking is a lot better. All right, let me see if I can. Oh, I remember this. I tried to do this the other day, and uh, the last time I went here, it was at night. Trying to get make it across the street. It's almost next to impossible. But yeah, so the Nokia, if you compare it to another phone, definitely is different than the. Um, as far as video stabilization is concerned. Now, as far as the colors, there are reviews on the internet that you can compare the color difference. And there has been complaints that the Nokia uh, color saturation is, the color capturing is not as good. When, when I look at the video, it kind of reminds me of film versus, you know, a high quality digital video camera. You get it on a digital high high definition digital video camera. Of course, you're going to get that perfect color, sharpness, and everything. On the Nokia, the color is a little bit more saturated. It kind of reminds me of a uh, Technicolor and film. You know, when you shoot film versus video, and so that's the difference. Nice color, huh? I'm using a sunny filter right now.
Makes her makes night look kind of actually. Hold on, this looks better than freaking. So usually at night I put on an automatic. So this is way better. Sorry, right, I just had to get across the street. There's a UPS truck. Ah, I mean serious. Look, I me mean, look at the colors. And, I mean, the colors are, I mean, it's off color a little bit, but it's better. You can see more things. I'm going to use Sunny for nighttime for now on, see how that works. Because you can definitely see a lot more. Because without it, all you will see are the just the lights, and that's it. You won't see the ground or anything. Look at that. It looks a lot better. Kind of blurry. But better. Hotel, motel, it's in the state of America. <laughs> okay, anyway. Alright, I'm home, so. Peace! Very nice. I'm using the cloudy filter, which is the reason for the reddish color. But it's the only, uh, filter that where you can see some detail like right now you can see the street but if you look at the uh, other filter if I use auto white balance only thing you'll see are the lights in fact let me try that I'm gonna stop this video and record another video with white balance turned auto white balance turned on hold on huh I lied okay uh, in the previous video, just, you know, keep in mind that you're probably watching the uncut raw video. But if you're watching this on the vlog, I discovered a filter where you can see a little bit more details at night if there's any presence of light. And this is actually working out on auto white balance. In the previous video, I used cloudy filter. And it, it just seemed to me that it just had a better look. But let me put it back on cloudy and, and redetermine that. Okay. Right now I'm using cloudy filter. And if you're watching an uncut video, you're not watching actual vlog. See the description for more details. Um, but this right here, I don't know. To me, it just looks better. The color is off a little bit. But it just appears to be better for night recording. I'm using a Hawaii Ascend 2. It has a 480p or I record mode, like VGA mode. Little Jack, 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 The bright light in the sky is an airplane. All right. Not really much to talk about. The fact that I got a call from a place called Amicon, I think it's called. I think they're a third party uh, company, hiring source. And they're looking for people to do service desk analysts at SDA for the Department of Veterans Affairs and I'll be working out of the VA administration which is south of downtown. I don't think I'm working at the hospital but it's going to it's going to be at the 
Department of Veterans Administration in Austin. And so that's going to be fun. Uh, it's basically technical support for staff members and it's working with VMware, uh, various forms of Windows, Windows Server, Linux, and Unix. Now, the only thing I don't know is Unix. I know it's like Linux, but yeah, <laughs> I have to uh, learn Unix. The last Unix machine I've used was Nex. <laughs> the Nex computer, remember that? Yeah, it goes, back, it goes way back, doesn't it? So that's the last, that was like in the early 90s when Steve Jobs, before Steve Jobs went back to Apple. A huh, little eye opener today. Ah, get away from me, my little mosquito. Uh, a little eye opener today. Feng Shui, Feng Shui, Feng Shui. How do we pronounce it? <laughs> Is a really important aspect aspect of your household. You need to have that. And I swear that I'm not going to tell you who it is or what, but a lot of things, a lot of great things happened today. But let me tell you the story up front. Let me tell you what happened in the beginning. In the beginning, there was the heavens and the earth. God got lonely and created earth. Billions of years later came Antonio Edward. Now, let's get let's catch up to today now. What happened to um is that because I'm jobless, you know, uh I didn't know how I was gonna pay for the hotel this next week. Because I had to pay today. And I'm in searching for jobs, searching for jobs. But even if I got a job, if, even if I get a job, it would take about two or three weeks to get that first paycheck. So I'm like, God damn, how in the hell we're going to, you know, I mean, if I, like, I do get a job, right? Great. I'll be homeless. How in the hell am I going to be able to bathe every day or take a shower, clean myself, and get ready for work every day? That's, that's a little hard to do when you're homeless. I've done it before. But really, you know, it, it's not easy. And people begin to figure out that you're homeless because they can smell it on you. You know, you smell like a homeless person when you're homeless because you're out in the elements all night long. If you've ever been camping and you're out there for a couple of days and you don't really wash up, I mean, you have baby wipes or whatever, and that's what we have. We have baby wipes. We had a community sink that we went to to wash our hair and all that stuff, right? But it's not the same. It's not the same as getting into a shower and lathering up your body with soap and hot water and getting all that shit off your skin. It's not the same. So, I was really worried about that because I... It would be better if I had a place where I could do that. Then, we realized something. There are certain corners to a room. And each corner is very important as to what you have in those particular corners. And if it's off, your life, it, it's, it's something about energy. And you have to believe this, folks. Because we experimented with that today. In fact, it wasn't even an experiment. We realized today where the problem lies. Laid, lied, whatever. We, uh, our luggage, stuff that we haven't unpacked yet, was sitting in the money corner. And that's what we needed. We needed money. I've also been asking the universe to help me out a little bit. So, hey, I just need some help. And, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be $5,000 dropped into my lap. You know, and if you want to do that, that's great. I mean, <laughs> by all means, please. I mean, but I just need to be guided in the right direction. I need a little assistance, a little boost to send me in the right direction to help my wife and I. And so then, today, after we cleaned, I mean, I, this morning, this is what I did. 
uh, my wife found a gig where someone needed help with an Excel spreadsheet. She could do it herself, but she's a um, owner of four apartment buildings, which is all on the same block. Now, again, I'm not going to tell you who that is. I'm not going to even be log while I'm there because <laughs> I do have to say the place is nasty. <laughs> but it's a job, right? I uh, got there at 12 noon. No, before then. Okay, let's go back a little bit more on uh, today. So she found that gig. So then I was like, you know, babe, my wife mentioned it before. It was, it was something that she mentioned before. And I was like, babe, this was a lucky opportunity. Let's fix some shit. My wife and I cleaned the place. I mean, and our place wasn't dirty. It was just things were in the wrong place. And we had a couple of dishes in the sink that weren't clean. I washed dishes. She made the bed. And I moved all of our luggage from the money corner and put it in an area which is hidden, out of sight, to let the chi run through the room a little bit better. Then I went to the place, got there at 12, and it was great. Okay, did my job. I was there for five hours. That's it was 11 bucks an hour, so it was 55 bucks. I didn't get that today. She said she's because tomorrow I'll be going back over there, and I'll probably will work seven hours tomorrow, which will be 77 dollars. So great. Um, so after I, you know, did what I had to do today, and of course I had to leave, I had a six o'clock appointment for a job, a phone, a phone interview for a job at the Department of Veterans Affairs, uh, service desk analyst. So of course I wanted to make sure I was available for that. Got home and I was still worried because I didn't have the money for the hotel rent. Now, I told, my wife was really worried. I was like, I know, babe. I know a place where we can store our stuff safely, out of sight, and no one knows it's there, and we can find, and I know a place where we can sleep for the night. I was really worried, too, because I didn't want to be homeless, really. And I didn't know how long it was going to be before I got another job. And another thing I thought about, too, because everything is done online, where I'm going to go to use a computer and keep the computer charged up all night, so that I can continue to apply for jobs. Okay, that's what I've been doing all day. Every day, all day, I've been applying, applying, applying. I'm getting responses, and, you know, eventually I'm going to get a job. I mean, I'm not worried about getting a job. It's just when, not if, it when. You know, it's when. You know, is it going to be this week, next week, two weeks from now? Now, the VA job, Department of Veterans Affairs, it's not going to start to January 3rd. The, the interview was so successful, he offered it to me pending my security clearance going through. I had to pass a security clearance. Now, I don't have that great of credit, but the guy is hoping that that would be overlooked, depending on what type of credit got messed up. You know, it, it all depends upon that. So I'm like, all right, cool, you know. But the job doesn't start till January 3rd. But I kind of need something like now, okay? So I'm still applying for jobs, and that's a good thing, right? Now, I got home. Oh, oh, then I went to the managers of the hotel, and I explained my sister to listen. You know, tomorrow I'm getting, you know, paid uh, 100, you know, some odd dollars. Well, I didn't say that. I just told her I'm getting paid tomorrow, and I'll be able to pay the hotel rent. And she was like, oh, don't worry. Now, here's what happens at Extended Stay. We, if you stay at the Extended Stay, you, you, you are charged tax, just like any other hotel. You're charged tax, okay? Now, being charged tax, it adds up, right? But after 30 days, you become tax exempt because then it's your living quarters. You're living there now. And because you're living there, they can't charge you tax. So you get that refund. You get that tax refund. Now, the tax refund was, wasn't supposed to be that much. It was like $170. But for some reason, it added up to $260, and all my rent was paid for the week. So guess what? 
my wife and I have one extra week to get through. We are given a break for one week. And let me tell you, I praise the universe like, thank you so much. I was like, thank you. I mean, whatever, because I was praying. I mean, I was like, please help. You know, I mean, I just, you know, I don't want to be in the street. I want to be able to take a shower on my first day of work in a place where I can sleep safely behind a locked door. Just me, my wife and I, not in a big-ass auditorium or in a church cell or somewhere. I mean, I was like saying, please help. Seriously. I mean, just, just guide me in the right direction. Just, you don't have to give me money. Just guide me. Just direct me where I got to go so I can get shit done. And luckily, our rent is paid up for another week because of taxes. We're now tax exempt at the extended stay. Good morning. It is now Saturday. I guess Saturday is the last day of the week. And I have to go to a new client, um, I guess. Like I said, on Craigslist, I found a gig where this lady needed to create an inventory sheet in Excel of basically she's going to remodel her apartment, you know, different uh, apartments in her building. And she owns the, uh, four buildings. And she wants to take an inventory of all products that are already new. Like, you know, someone needed a new refrigerator. She wanted to account for that already. And the apartments that don't have new refrigerators, of course, she wants to repl replace all appliances, kitchen counters that are not new, and also take account which cabinets needs fixing and which cabinets needs replacing. And so we, we uh, did a good inventory on that on one of her buildings. And we got three more buildings to do today. I'll be doing about seven hours today. Seven hours an hour, not much, but, you know, hey, it's better than nothing. You know, at least I'm making a little bit of money here. So it is all good in the hood. And job, job searching, it's going good. It's just a matter of time, basically. All right, my bus is coming. It's up that little hill. See what it is. See the smoke coming out of it. Here she comes, here she comes again, same old shit again, marching down the avenue. <laughs> this little cat was just sitting here, and came right up to me. I'm at the apartments right now, and it's like lunchtime, and taking a small break. The cat is so cute. Hey, kitty! Little kitty! The girl boy, you tell me. Okay. Hello! It's Saturday night. Alright, just in case I don't get to say it a little later, don't forget to like this video. Um, remember to subscribe. Just click on subscribe at the top if you're on the YouTube channel. If you're not, if you're on my webpage, just click on subscribe <laughs> by going to my YouTube channel and subscribe to it. Also, you may follow me, uh, like me, uh, friend me, uh, subscribe, and uh, what else is there? <laughs> Everything you can possibly do. Just uh, don't forget to add me as a friend on Twitter, Facebook. Um, Tumblr, Pinterest, Flickr, alright, on uh, Flickr I'm known as Labinex, so this is a search for Labinex, on Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook, this is a uh, search for Twiz Jizz, and that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, the video, Jeez. the video, oh, 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 I ho, I ho, I ho. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying.
I'm also gonna get some to drink. I'm thirsty as a motherfucker. Cheers. All right, peace.